Yeah, so I wasn't too sure what I was going to do in terms of plastering the uh, outside the pond. I was going to plaster it, paint it, get some cladding. Um, so I didn't know what to be doing. Like on the last pond, which you can see here, I obviously plastered it and painted it. But I got a great deal I've seen online of some cladding. Um, 17 and a half square meters and I worked out I needed about 16 square meters to cover the, the side the two sides and the shed and the back of the shed so every part you can see so I got this as Nepal uh, cladding it's, a lot of them are corners but you can see way they come together but you can use it as a flat tile as well yeah so I'm delighted with that 31 boxes of corners which I can use in the flat 8 boxes of flat and four bags of evasive. So I'll spin you around and show you the bit that I've put the cladding on so you can have a look. I think it turned out really well. Yes, yeah, so you can see this side here. Yeah, I think it looks really smart and I don't have to bother going to the effort of plastering it or anything like that. And you can see where the, where the wood is there. That's gonna be my depth when I backfill. It's up about it's up maybe about five, five, or four or five inches that I'd be putting it up to have the stone area there. Yeah, so I'm really happy with that. It's coming on lovely. see more progress so it's beginning to take shape i actually decided to make this window a bit bigger so it's going to be seven foot long um yeah it's going to be expensive bit of glass but it was just to get it center centralized so yeah you can see the bit of cladding there that's going to continue on continue on all the shed part there and also this back wall here yeah so i have another few blocks to go on top of this another I think it's four rows. The French doors I have are actually eight foot, so then there'll be a lintel and one block. And in here, you can see where this pond is starting to gonna be. You can see the skimmer in, bottom drains and all that. So it has to be tidied up in here once the block work's done. So you can see it's reinforced, uh, it's blocks on the side where the pond's gonna be. And also there, the other side of the pond. So I'll be bringing brick across from there across from there so it's going to be a lovely grow on and i'm going to have an easy pod there going into a shower and i have still have a lot of space inside the filter house that's going to be where the where the drum's going to be which i believe is arriving this week so i'll have to store that for a few weeks till i'm up and going have the water and the water and also the waste coming in yeah so it's all taking place by the end of the week, the block work should be done. And then a bit of clean up in here. Then I would probably think about maybe the roof onto the two pergola over the pond. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be a lovely sized pond. Also here, I don't know if I said it in a previous video, there's going to be a window. So it's a window that opens outwards. So when I'm in here, it's pissing rain outside. I can look in at the fish. Yeah, so exciting times. So the block work is complete. Um, and by this time tomorrow, all the cladding will be on. It'll be there, right across from there, the front of the, front of the house, and also there above the skimmer. Yeah, so you see I have a fuel window, which I'll have um, from the filter house door frame up double double french doors and the window in here which i will get a lovely view of the fish <laughs> yeah delighted with that my little dog i also got a big delivery today basically the filtration system 
So we have the the combi drum, the combi dump drum from the DSV. We also have the shower and a load of boxes of media. Yeah, I'll show you all that when I'm opened up. When it's opened up, but in the meantime, yeah, it's looking good. So all the block work is now finished and all sort of cladding, which I'm delighted about. It came, it turned out lovely. Um, so yeah, delighted with it. Looks really nice. So obviously there is where the ground level is going to come up to. One window there, and the other obviously there in front. Windows and doors also in place, and I also have cladding here, which is basically above the skimmer there. And what will happen next is I'll have a slope and roof and it will attach onto a pergola. Yeah, so it looks deadly, delighted with it. So yeah, all this cladding now has it's all gone off, so that's right stuck in place there. As you see, I just have the bottom two blocks of the new pond, just where that's where the window from the old pond is going to go whenever I knock that down whenever I bring the fish in here so that will be done later down the line when the main pond is up and running so I was just marking out the uh, rough size of the of the combi drum just to see where it is in terms of match up um, pipe work everything like that you can see the bottom drain bottom drain down there and also the air yeah so it will fit nicely against the wall there so the plan Today or tomorrow, whenever I get a chance, is to get this ground sorted in here. So, as you know, before I have the water and also a waste pipe brought in there. So the plan is to tee off the waste pipe. Have one there, coming down there, and just going up there. So that would be um, waste. Uh, that's going to be where the easy pot is when this gets up and run eventually. So I'll have the easy pot there and a waste pipe there that can go directly into. That would be just sticking out in the ground. So... So we'll be able to just flow down to and on the tee another one going across there and up there that would be drainage for the overflow that i put on the skimmer overflow for um this pond probably when it's up and going and also what's the other overflow there's three things going in it uh, sorry and also waste from the drum will be going down there as well so that's the route down there and that would be sorted. So I have to dig this bit of ground up just to get it, take about maybe about two inches off it, just to get the right level for the combi drum. And then I've only about two inches of concrete in here just for some sort of floor and then maybe some leveling, leveling uh, concrete as well after that, just to get some sort of level on it. Then the next step after that will be the roof. It'll be just a flat roof with a bit bit of a tilt, tampered, um, just to get it, get it obviously rain rain and that to come off yeah so i showed you earlier there i got my delivery of my filtration of the shower that i'm going to be the shower is actually going to be put here on here and um, going into the into the wall through the shower so i won't have a big noise i know i had a I had a one on the last pond and it just i didn't like the noise i, I like it quiet to be honest so i'll be going through here and the shower won't be seen so it's two one tens but i'll change it down to two inch so there'll be a return a return and then from the from the drum a return and a return so all my pipe work will be coming back into the into the filter house so there's no messing around running running anything around there'll be plenty flowing it with that because i'll also have the bottom drain going as well the spin drifter yeah so definitely starting to take shape so i'm going to dig some of this out and to get a level also with this here i want to i've been throwing bits and pieces down there as i was working away but i'm going to take some of that out just to put it mightn't be necessary but just for peace of mind i'm going to put some plastic um have some plastic in there just to cover the wall there before i backfill it on the same this side it's not much digging out but it was just a bit of peace of mind just having a bit more plastic on it from any any wetness yeah so i will to go in and show you i got the package into the shed of the filth of the of the filtration so i'll have a look at that now and i'll show you so the shed is starting to fill up rapidly there's a second hand easy pod which will gravity fed which will be 
um, for a little grow on inside whenever I get that up and going. Then we have this combi drum uh, from DVS there. Yeah, delighted with it. There'll be only one, um, one, one pipe going into it and one going out of it and also one skipping the skimmers or pulling from the skimmer as well. Yeah, so it's a nice bit of kit, nice and it will fit lovely in where I have it to go. Yeah, but I'll I'll do a review as I'm setting that up and go through all that there. But I'll get about I think it's about 150 liters of K1 that I'll get in there, which I'll transfer directly from the Nexus 220, which I currently have that amount of literage in it. And then this is what I was talking about with the shower. So you have these two outlets here, so I'll change them down to two inch and directly into the pond rather than having it kind of flow rather than having the kind of shower effect it will just be going into the pond to return basically so these get lifted up um you just when i fix it up so obviously it's going to be a three tier 60 cm and i also have some boxes of the cladding left over yeah i think i said before but i got a super deal and all that but that'd be perfect for the little grow on the front facing of it just the face put put the, that cladding on the face and so yeah so it's all go yeah, so I think I'll leave it there for this week. Um, a lot done, and hopefully by the next video, I should have that floor in there done. Yeah, again, if you're liking the like and follow along and the progress, give us a like and a subscribe. Perfect. Oh, and just before I go, a few people were asking in the last video about the Shiro. He was doing a bit of um, he was doing a bit of flashing of that. Yeah, there were flukes in the pond, which I knew about, and. It's there sorted now with two doses of fluke pee. Yeah, perfect. So I'll catch you on the next one.